Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Scorbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. And uh, today I'd like to speak to you about the astrology of Friday, March 17th. Today the moon is in Scorpio as it was yesterday and will be tomorrow. The Scorpio moon um, is a very deep feeling and sensitive moon. But oftentimes we don't really uh, expose ourselves in with the moon in Scorpio because it is such a vulnerable experience for us. There is a trine to the sun today, however, the sun is in Pisces. And so we could learn a lot if we allow our sensitivities to come out in a way to um, teach and uh, illuminate and uh, come to some sort of understanding with uh, other people. Um, that being said, there are other things going on today that might make that more difficult, and yet we can still learn a lot about our feelings and um, other people's feelings through this through this period. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is a square between the Sun and Saturn. Saturn right now is in Sagittarius, actually uh, in a close approximation to the uh, galactic center, which is the center of our galaxy. Uh, from which all sort of cosmic rays uh, originate. And so Saturn is acting as a uh, bridge and a conduit for those cosmic rays. So if you're feeling rather cosmic of late, um, it very well could be Saturn sitting there uh, acting as a, a conduit for that energy. Uh, Saturn rules the bones. It rules um, the muscles. Well, actually rules the bones and the teeth, the structure. Mars actually rules the muscles, but um, there is a sense of uh, restructuring our our structure, so, so to speak. Uh, if you're having a lot of aches and pains in your uh, joints and bones and you just feel bone tired or aching from a bone level, this is this can all, can be this energy that we're experiencing. And with a square to the sun today, uh, it could feel a little bit more so. Um, this square to the sun is a first quarter square, and it's a 90 degree square, and it's a crisis in action, and we feel the need to take an action. With the sun in Pisces, it's, uh, it's the energy of uh, oneness and healing and uh, sometimes illusion, and uh, Sagittarius, uh, Saturn Sagittarius is our beliefs. It's our philosophy of life. It's our isms, so to speak. And uh, the square um, is an energy to like, how do we break free from those ideas or ideals that have imprisoned us? And and that's kind of the energy that we're working with today. And the square is a, is a heavy square. Anytime Saturn is in the picture, uh, it's a heavy, it's a heavy, there's a heaviness associated with it. We also have to remember that Chiron is pretty close to the, stun, the sun still. We just had the uh, Chiron uh, sun conjunction, I think it was on Tuesday, I think the 14th. And so Chiron is brought into this picture as well. So we have Saturn, the galactic center. We have Chiron, we have the sun in the mutable signs. It's time to change, it's time to shift. Now the other thing that's going on is something that is even broader still. Uh, we have Uranus making its last and final conjunction to Eris. Now Eris is something I don't generally talk about. It's a planet that was discovered I believe back in 2005. First it was named Xena and then they changed it to Eris. And so the energy of Eris is one of uh, uh, warrior. There's a warrior energy to Eris, and there is a sense of revolution and a sense of marginalization when we're dealing with Eris. Um, the philosophy, I'm sorry, the mythology behind Eris was that she was the sister of Ares, and she and there was a big wedding, and she wasn't invited because she's kind of a troublemaker. And uh, she felt marginalized, of course, by this. And she decided to create the golden apple. And on the golden apple, she inscribed to the fairest. She rolled that apple into the wedding at the feet of Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite. And they picked it up and they said to the fairest, and they're like, well, who's the fairest? And of course, the, she was kind of using the vanity of the goddesses against each other and their own self-interest against each other. And so they handed the apple to, Par to Paris, 
and if you remember your mythology or maybe the picture, the, the painting of the Judgment of Paris, uh, the Judgment of Paris was Paris was to decide who was the fairest of the goddesses. And Aphrodite pulled Paris aside and said, look, if you pick me, I'll get you Helen of Troy. And he goes, but Helen of Troy is married. She goes, that doesn't matter. I'll get, if that's what you want, I'll get it. So there's another indication of self-interest. And so uh, she did, uh, she was picked as the fairest, and she and Helen was kidnapped, and that began the, uh, the Trojan War. So that's the kind of energy we're dealing with here with Eris. She works from the margins in order to disrupt the power structures, and she's conjunct uh, Uranus for the third time. Now, we had two conjunctions last year, 2016, was our reality not turned on its head. And... Uh, you know, in America, we have a uh, the kind of uh, expression of that in um, our 45th president, and yet um, that's not the end of the story. This conjunction really is about uh, breaking free, and um, Uranus in Aries is um, Uranus in Aries is kind of like Aries is fire and Uranus is technology and it's cutting edge stuff and so how is the cutting edge technology going to be used to revolutionize our lives and free us from the oppression that is all around us the patriarchy is falling and uh, this is its last stand and especially in America as we're going to have our Pluto return in 2022. So what is that? Uh, six years from now, things are going to look very different here in America anyway. And so this is the beginning of the end for the old guard. And we must stand strong. And Eris and Uranus will help us. Um, the galactic center with Saturn there will help us. Um, so this is a very intense day. I know this is long and I apologize for that, but there's just so much going on on so many levels. <sighs> so let's just say, and I know I've gone on and on and on, it's going to be a very intense day today um, and a very feeling day. So feel it. Things are shifting. We might look back on this day as another one of those watershed days where everything changed for us. Have yourself a great day. Don't drink and drive. It's St. Patrick's Day. Be careful in crowds. It's an explosive day. And uh, if you enjoy this video, press the like button. If you want to subscribe to get these videos and written um, astro blurbs, just contact me at Vicki, V-I-C-K-I, at the Siege of Transformation. Dot com. I'll put you on my mailing list. You'll get them every day. And it's been a pleasure chatting today. Have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.